I, Kobe Bryant, have decided to take my talents to uh, No, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. After talking over my coaches and my family, I would like to announce that I'm declaring for the 2018 NBA draft. So you want to be in the NBA, huh? So how do you declare yourself eligible for the NBA draft? I declare bankruptcy! Bruh. No, 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 don't do that, man. So what you have to do is send in the proper paperwork to the NBA head office. You probably think you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to apply for the NBA draft, but no. All you need is to send a mail to the NBA head office. And in two or three weeks, you should expect a reply from them to see if you're eligible for the NBA draft or not. Once you're eligible, you can start working out for the NBA teams now. If they want you. Nope. Nani? So this is where NBA teams put players to drills, workouts, and conditioning just to see how the players are up close and personal. Anyone can do this, and I mean anyone. Literally anyone can do this. If you're over 19 years old, you can do this. It's that the chance of you actually getting drafted is probably little compared to an actual NBA prospect. But like I said, anyone can actually do this. Even the average Joe can do this. So here's a list of players. Sorry. I mean people who actually applied for the NBA draft when no GM or scouts were aware of who they actually were. So you're telling me there's a chance. Here's an old list of the 2006 NBA draft early entry list. As you can recognize a couple names of Marcus Aldridge, this is a long time ago, but Marcus Aldridge, Shannon Brown, Jordan Farmar, PJ Tucker, and all the way at the bottom unknown individuals who have also applied as early entry players to be eligible for selection in the 2006 NBA draft. So you could be here. You can, you guys can be here, man. You really can. Just that you, you probably won't get drafted. Even though you're not going to get drafted, the best part is you can tell people that you're an NBA free agent. They probably won't believe you until they pull up your name on the NBA database. So, the big day is here. The NBA draft is finally here. So most times before the NBA team actually drafts the players, they let their agent know ahead of time that they're going to take them. Rondo Ball. Welcome to the Lakers, ladies. Alright. Congratulations, man. We're looking forward to it. You coming and uh, leading this franchise, okay? Los Angeles Lakers select Lonzo Ball. Got it. Confirming Lonzo Ball with the Lakers. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Second pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Lonzo Ball from UCLA. So, congratulations. You're now drafted into the NBA. But now is the hard part. Make sure you don't mess up your handshake with your family and friends. Or else, you'll look like this. With the first pick in the 2002 NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select Yao Ming from Shanghai, China. Don't get the wrong idea. Anyone can apply. Anyone. But if you aren't on the NBA GMs or scouts radars, you're probably not getting drafted. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can DM me on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, whatever. And I'll always respond and I'm out. Peace.